Hello there. Today we will code a fireworks simulation in Python. We will use Pygame module for graphics and sound effects. To keep this tutorial really really simple, we will use very little math and physics. Our main focus will be on programming logic building. We will start by importing Pygame. So import Pygame and then install Pygame. by writing pip install pygame it will take some time to install pygame all right we are good to go so we'll start by driver code in the driver code first what we'll do we'll initialize our pygame module then we'll use page width and page depth variable to set our game window. Our game window will be initially 800 by 600 pixel. We will declare a screen variable where we will display our pygame window and we will set our page width and page depth in the screen variable. We will set a display caption for our game window, I will say fireworks simulation and then we will take a variable running which is always true. This is required for, keep, for keeping our game always running. This is an infinite loop and I will fill my screen with black color. I will search for all the events in my Pygame module and I will look, look for the quit event. Whenever the user will cross the window, my game will be off. And then I will set my running as false. I will close the loop by updating my display so i'll run my code to see how the effects is coming okay fine my game window is coming 800 by 600 game window is coming now i want to make my game window full screen to do that what i will do i'll import pi auto gui module and i'll install pi auto gui module so it will take some time to install pi auto, auto gui module I will install by using the pip command. Once the installation is done, I will simply comment my width and height and I will write a new width and height with the pi auto gui size. So I will get the window size here. Okay. So I will keep the depth a little bit low so that I can have the cross cross sign so that I can I can close the window. Okay, fine. My game window is coming fine. Now it is full screen. Going ahead. Now I declare a class to implement my rockets functionality. What I will do? I will first try to display one rocket and from them I will try to display many rockets, as many rockets as I like. So for this, I will create a rocket function. In the rocket function, I will pass myself with my rocket x, rocket y variables and this x and y variables are for rocket, rocket positioning. Then I will move my rocket. For this, I will need a rocket y decrement variable. I will take different rocket colors when I am running my programs at different stages. So I will assign these variables which I have passed to my rocket attributes okay these are all my rocket attributes so rocket x and rocket y is the position of the rocket on the pygame window where the rocket will be positioned and the rocket y decrement every rocket will i i want to have my uh, rocket speed different rockets to move at different speeds so this is why i am having a rocket y decrement variable different for different rockets and so as the color my color of the rockets will be different All right, and my rocket length. I want a fixed length and width for my rocket. For this, I have taken five pixel as my rocket length, and I have uh, ten pixel for my rocket breadth. Okay, 
so this is my rocket attributes and there is one more uh, i'll implement states for my rocket so initially the rocket will be in moving state and later on i'll have a, in this program i'll have total three different uh, three different states for my rockets okay so one is the moving state when the rocket is moving i'll have this moving state and then i'll have one more state that is called burning and one more state that is called dead so my rocket state rocket state will be a moving moving state rocket state will be a moving state then a burning state a burning state of rocket and then a dead state of rocket okay once the burning is done i'll declare the rocket as dead okay and okay i am sorry uh, once again i'll do a draw rocket method in this draw rocket method i'll try to draw my rocket on my game window for this what i'll need i'll need a pygame dot draw dot rect rect method okay by this rect method i'll draw a rectangle on the screen which will depict as my rocket for this i'll pass on different colors so that my rocket colors will be different and my i'll have to pass my screen then i'll pass my rocket x rocket x and rocket y so this will act as the dimension for my rocket x and rocket y this is this will act as the starting position of my rocket and then i'll pass my rocket breadth so that my uh, my rocket my rocket could have some breadth and my rocket could have some length some rocket breadth and rocket breadth length and rocket breadth these variables i will need to create or to display a rocket on my game window all right so far so good then i'll draw the spy game this rect rect method i'll draw this rocket okay so i'll i'll now write a function where i'll create those rockets okay i'll create those rocket initially i'll start with one rocket then i'll i'll draw many rockets as many rockets as as i want so for this i'll i'll pass a rocket variable over here the number of rockets i'll decide decide in my driver code in the driver code i'll i'll decide i'll take a rocket i'll take a rocket list in the rocket list list i'll have all my rocket objects so my number of rockets i'll start initially with one rocket then i'll have this rocket rocket list okay this list will have all the rocket objects okay and i'll pass this i'll call this method create rocket well i'll pass this rocket list and number of rockets as my variable as my argument now here in this create rocket uh, i'll 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 write a loop here well i'll traverse in my number of rockets and i'll create those rockets okay for creating the rocket i'll call the rocket x i'll take initially i'll i'll take a rocket x as 500 and i'll take a rocket y as also some uh, also some value okay so i'll not i'll take page depth okay so rocket y i'll take page depth so that my rocket will start from the below from the list from the below below of the page my uh, rocket will start then i'll have a rocket y decrement okay my rocket y decrement i'll i want to have a random variable for this i have uh, taken this random module okay so that i'll have this rocket by decrement different so that my rockets will move at a di different speed so rocket color i'll also take rocket color so that each rockets will have a different color i'll take this rocket color and i'll use this random use this random functions to have this uh, different rocket colors all right i have this rocket colors now now i'll create the rocket object to create the rocket object i'll call the constructor rocket constructor and i'll pass all these variables rocket x i'll pass rocket y i'll pass this rocket x and rocket y they will be the my rocket initial starting position in my rocket y decrement is the speed by which the rocket will move and the rocket color to draw the rocket once the object is created i'll append this object in my rockets list and i'll return this rocket and i'll return this rocket object rocket list to my driver code all right so this is looking good all right this is looking good so the display is if i run my code to see whether it is coming okay so there is nothing is coming nothing is coming till now but but there is no uh, error error yet so this is a good thing now here in my infinite loop i'll try to draw my rockets for this i'll traverse my rockets list i'll traverse all the objects in my rocket list now i have only one i have only one rocket but this code will be generalized for all the rockets even if i create more rockets this code will work 
Now, if my rocket state is moving, just remember that initially all the rockets are in moving state. If my rocket state is moving, then I'll invoke the draw rocket method on my object, rocket object. I'll invoke the draw, draw rocket method. And this uh, draw rocket method, after this draw rocket method, I'll decrement my rocket y. The vertical length of the rocket I will decrease so that my rocket will have a upward with a upward motion. Okay, and I will decrement by rocket y decrement, which is already there as a as a attribute to my rocket object. I'll run my code and see yes, my rocket is moving. Okay, I'll run my code once again to see it. Right, very fine. My rocket is now moving. Okay, but here I can see a problem. My rocket is uh, moving now. It is moving outside my game window i do not want that i want to create a explosion point for my rocket okay and before that i will create a clock variable using the pygame dot time function use the frigate dot time function so that i can control my game speed okay otherwise my game will work at a different speed in different cpus okay different machines my game will work at different speed so i will implement this this uh, pygame dot uh, dot clock dot tick method so that uh, my game will work similar in all the machines I run. All right, now I'll create some explosion points for my rocket. So for each rocket, I'll have a explosion point. For explosion point, I'll have rocket explosion x and rocket explosion y two variables. I'll take and these variables I will assign to myself. To the rocket self, I assign this variable self dot rocket explore x is self dot rocket explore y. Okay, so my rocket explore x and y are now assigned to my rocket. It too has become the part of my rocket object. Now, when I am creating my rocket, where I am creating my rocket, I will have to pass this. For this, I will take this rocket explore y as a random variable. Random, random, randomly, I for different rockets, I want to have a different explosion point. Okay, so my rocket explore x and rocket explore y will be different. Rocket explore x and rocket explore y, explore y will be different for each rocket. Okay, and this is page by page dipped by two because I want to I I I just want to implement that my rocket need to move at least halfway my game window before it comes to the explosion point. So for this, I have taken this rocket explore y as rocket dipped by two. Okay, fine. So I'll run this code again. All right. All right. So far, so good. Now here, I'll take another traversing to my rocket's object. Another traversing to my rocket's object. So for this, I'll say if i dot state. Now, if the rocket state is not equal to dead, okay. The, till the time rocket state is not equal to dead, okay. And if my rocket y has not reached the explosion y point okay my rocket state is not dead and rocket y the y axis of the rocket y point of the rocket has not reached the explosion explosion point yet till that time since my uh, rocket state and rocket y is there my state i'll i'll call this state as burning it means whenever my rocket will reach the burning point i'll set my rocket state as burning okay Fine. I'll state my moving is great. I'll run this code again. Okay, and now I'll see. Yes, my after after some time of movement, the rocket will disappear. I'll run this code again. Okay, fine. Now it is working again. I'll run this code one more time to see. Yeah, my rocket is moving at one fine point. My rocket will disappear. Right. Very fine. Very sweet. Up to this point, the game is working really, really good. So moving on. So my uh, rocket is now moving up to my point. This now I'll create multiple rockets. Okay, this is very simple. I'll just change one to one hundred. Okay, now I can see there are many rockets, but there is a there is a problem. All my rockets are starting from one position, so I need to fix this code. For this, I'll create this rocket x. Yes, rocket x is five hundred for all the rockets. I'll take this rocket explore x and rocket explore y. Now I have a problem here. It is says my uh, assignment some assignment issue. Okay, all right. What is this rocket explore? I okay. I need to move this part of code just before this. Okay, just before this, I need to move this code. Okay, my rocket died. Now I guess I am good. I guess now I am good. I'll run this code again to see whether I am having multiple rockets. Fine. There are so many rockets shooting at the same time. 
okay by simply changing from 1 to 100 i can have 100 shooting rockets i can have 100 shooting rockets fine 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 all right all right so i have now many rockets shooting okay now i'll create a ball object okay for each and every rocket i'll i'll create many balls okay it it may it, it is like a rocket is moving with so many balls with it okay and once the rocket will explode the balls will disperse here and there so this is my idea of creating this explosion rocket fireworks explosion simulation okay so for this i'll create this ball object i'll create this ball object but before this creation what i need to do i need to do this number of balls i need to declare in my driver code for this initially let's say i am i am working with only one ball okay let's say initially i am working only with one ball and this uh, create ball i will do later but first what i will do i will pass this ball object okay so each so that each and every rocket will have many balls i will pass this ball object and i will assign this ball object to my rocket self rocket self i will assign this my ball object okay so i have this create balls but i haven't created it again okay, created it yet so for this what i'll do i'll just write another class one class for my balls object okay and this i'll do in it which is a constructor for this balls class here i'll do self color and center x and center y center x and center y which will be just my explosion point explosion point will be my center x and center y and for each and every rocket i'll have different radiuses so that i have a different i have a mini balls with different sizes fill and I'll have a weight, center x move, center y move, so that the ball will move. So that the, after explosion, I want these balls to move. So I'll have these two variables. And this radius down, radius down and direction. It means the the radius, the radius of the balls will be down. Okay, so that I'll have a shrinking ball effect. So I'll assign this color to my color, to my color cells. I'll assign the center x and center y to my, these attributes I'll assign to my balls object this color x and color y and self dot radius in the self dot radius i'll do this radius i'll assign my radius and the self dot width i'll assign this width so this these are my balls attribute so one ball object will have this attribute the center x move okay center x move so that i have a moving moving ball after the explosion my balls so that the balls of the rockets can move i'll have this all right here we go the self dot radius down is my radius down so that the ball will shrink okay i in gradually i'll decrease my radius of the balls x direction and y direction so that the ball may move in x directions and y directions and this uh, i mean ball state okay so for balls also i'll have two different state one is my alive state and one is my dead state and this uh, this draw ball i'll have this method on my ball object that is a draw ball method so that i can draw these balls on my game window for this i'll pass a self screen color and center x and center y center x and center y of my balls object all right and this spy game dot draw dot dot circle okay so i'll just draw this methods by writing pygame dot draw dot circle and in this i'll pass the screen color center x and center y i'll pass the screen center x center y radius and width center x and center y is the position in the pygame window where i will create those balls then there is this create ball function i'll just write this function here def create balls where i'll pass these variables this ball variable i'll pass number of balls i'll pass I will pass this rocket, rocket explosion point so that I can set this rocket explosion point to my uh, balls uh, a point, point x and point y. Alright, and here I will center x, center x and center y, I will declare as rocket explosion x and rocket explosion y. Okay, rocket explosion x and rocket explosion y. Okay. So far, so good. Now I'll traverse this my number of balls. Traverse with the number of balls, and I'll create as many. I'll create as many balls for one rocket. These are the many balls. I can create many balls for one rocket, and I'll set the color as random. 
okay i will set the color as random to have a different color effect of different color balls it will look nice then i'll have this random radius so that the different balls have different sizes i'll take this uh, radius as random between 1 and 15 it will take a random value between 1 and 15 then i'll have, have this centrix move which is always a which is also a random value so that the ball may move randomly okay and i'll have this one center center y move with minus 5 to plus 5 range so that the balls may move randomly and radius down will also be a random number so each ball each ball will shrink differently so that i have a effect of this uh, explosion kind of effect my x direction okay so my x direction x direction will be also from minus a minus 1 to plus 1 y direction is also minus 1 to plus 1 and i will create now the balls object one ball object by passing these variables the color variable center x and center y variable followed by this radius variable then center then center x move and center y move variable i will pass this variable center x move and center y move i will pass these variables all right these balls dot append okay so uh, the, in this ball list i will append all my objects and i will return my ball object to my driver code not to my driver code to the code of my uh, creating rocket so that each and every rocket will have this i'll run my code and see okay so i can see many rockets no i'll change this i'll first make only one rocket so that i can see the effect for one rocket i'll run oh everything looks good i'll just do this ball state my i have already mentioned my ball state is alive and dead there are two states of the ball okay so this my ball state is good alive and dead i have two states of my balls that is alive and dead right everything looks good now here what i'll do if my rocket state is moving then it's fine else if my rocket state is burning i think if my rocket state is burning if my rocket is in burning position i will draw my balls okay i'll draw my rocket balls okay for this I'll just do this for J in I ball. It means for the rocket object, whatever the balls are present in the rocket object, I'll invoke my draw method, my draw ball, draw ball method on that. Now, if the ball state is alive, of course, if the ball state is alive, I'll just if the yes, fine. If the ball state is alive, all right. If the ball state is alive, I'll just invoke my draw balls method on my balls object fine looks good i'll pass this variable screen j color color center center all the all the variables i will pass all right center x center y radius and zero zero means i want a field ball okay so i'll i am making one ball move now there is a i couldn't see it much so i'll run my code again all right my rocket is moving and when it is coming at the explosion yes right i have got a ball there at the point of explosion i have a ball all right now if i change the number of balls let's say 1000 balls what will happen i'll run my code again my rocket is moving yeah now there are 1000 balls here but we cannot see because all the balls the center of all the balls are same so run this code yeah here i can see there are many balls for all the balls the center is same all right all right all right all right so far so good the code is coming through all right fine 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 now i'll just come here so all the balls are being drawn at one point now if the rocket is in burning stage now my first logic comes here i'll just try to disperse my balls okay okay when the rocket will come at the burning stage i'll start moving my balls 
so for this i'll say uh, center x of the ball center x of the ball and center y of the ball with move this center x move and center y move variable which is already there as my object so yeah fine okay now it is coming now every ball is moving but i still do not have what i want i'll see once again now the balls are moving but there is no randomness here okay i'll try once again right the balls are moving the rocket has disappeared the ball start started moving so i'll work on my logic too my second logic i'll say i'll just move the balls in a different fashion okay so my center x move i'll once again randomize it so 1 to 20 center x move center y move i'll just randomize it 1 to 20 right 1 to 20 and then i'll just assign this i'll move my center x with this with this new center x move okay with the new direction with the new direction this direction i have already there in my balls object as an attribute the center x direction x and direction y direction x and direction y it is also coming randomly now if i move the balls okay now i have a different motion but still it is not what i want i'll see again the rocket is moving till the point it comes on the explosion point the rocket is moving fine all right all right all right i have a different pattern but it is not exactly what i'm looking for so when the ball moves it is okay it is moving only some in some directions particular directions what if i can bring the both the logics together if i can blend the two logics together logic one and logic two i think my job will be done if i choose okay i'll make a choice flag which will be also a random variable between zero and one yes or no okay so randomly my program will decide whether it is a choice zero or choice one if the choice zero choice flag is zero then i'll execute this code else if the choice is one then i'll execute this code and this choice zero and one will also come randomly oh, now i have some effect i think now i have some effect i'll run my code once again i'll see all right now i have some effect okay some moving balls effect the balls are moving in different directions so i'll see one more time right the balls are moving in different directions but the balls are not shrink shrinking okay in the fireworks we'll see the particles move around and particles get shrink okay so to do this i'll just write this code i'll shrink my radius of the ball i'll just shrink my radius of the ball all right all right if now radius is greater than zero i'll then i'll decide a down flag all right i'll take a down flag i'll take a just take a down flag zero or one yes or no i'll take a one zero two i'll take a zero two two okay let's go by zero two two i'll take a down flag zero two two if my radius is greater than zero i'll take a down flag all right all right now if my radius radius of the ball if the radius of the ball i'll just reduce the my radius of the ball with this the radius down the radius down attribute is already there in my uh, balls class okay and if my down flag is one if my down flag is random down flag is one i'll just all right i have this okay i'll run my code okay right right now the balls are getting getting disappeared okay now the balls are disappearing right right so if i have 10000 balls for one rocket right right i'll run this code once again to see the effects okay right i have a very close simulation i have a very close simulation for one rocket all right the balls are moving the balls are moving at the same time these are shrinking and after some time the balls are getting disappeared okay so i'll do some improvement of my code here okay in the uh, whatever the uh, objects okay i'll just identify inactive balls okay if my balls are inactive if my balls are inactive okay i'll just run this code okay many rockets i'll move okay now i think i have this i have this simulation okay the fireworks simulation okay the very basic very basic though i have this fireworks simulation okay so still i think i need to make some improvements to my code 
Okay, so some of the objects which are so all those rockets I want to remove in the next cycle run, all those rockets which are already burned out. Okay, I do not want to work with burned out rockets. So what I'll do if my balls left. Okay, so I'll have this variable balls left. Okay, so if my balls left is false. Okay, it means I still have some balls left when the burning is there. My balls left, and if it is true. For j in balls i balls, it means I am traversing all my balls object. If the radius is less than one, it means the ball has already shrinked to the maximum extent possible. Then I'll state this ball state as dead. All right, all right, good. So that I can remove these dead balls. Okay, then del j means I'll delete those balls object which which are dead. Dead means my these are already shrinked to the max. My radius has become less than one. Okay, and uh, if it is not there, if if at least one ball is there for which the center is not less than x, then the balls left is true. Okay, and for the for the balls left, and if balls left is false, I state if the balls left is false and if the state is dead. Okay, balls left then state is dead. Then I'll delete my i. Okay, and I'll delete I'll delete my i means I'll delete my rocket. Okay, now fine, fine, fine. It looks really, really nice. It looks really, really nice. All the balls are all the balls are moving fine. The shrinking effect is good. This is a very basic simulation, though. This is a very basic simulation, though. You can you can do much better. You can do much better if you if you can have uh, uh, different kinds of balls and other objects also. I'll leave this up to you. Now I'll implement some sound over here. Once the balls are once the balls are moving, or when when the rocket will come to this uh, burning stage, okay, when the balls are moving, shrinking, and all this is taking place, I want to add some simulation. Uh, add some in this simulation, I want to add some sound effect. Okay, so I have downloaded a crackling sound. Okay, I'll import, not import. I'll just not import. I'll say from Pi game. Import mixer. Okay, I'll use mixer for this my uh, sound effect, and I'll take a variable crackling. Okay, in the crackling, I'll say mixer dot sound, and I'll give this my sound clip over here. I have included one sound sound clip in my project, and I'll write also write a method for playing. The crackling sound on each different rockets. Okay, so that so that I have a very good simulation. I have a very good sound simulation as well. All right, crackling dot play. I'll say crackling dot play. All right, all right. So my sound is there now. The I have this crackling dot play. Now I'll have to play this. Okay, I'll have to play this when yeah when it is in the burning stage. When the rocket is in the burning stage, uh, I'll just check my code one more time. It is everything is looking fine. My rocket is in burning stage. Yep. When my rocket is in burning stage, right? It goes here. Okay. Now, if the crackling is true, it means the crackling sound has been started. If the crackling is true. When the rocket is in burning, and if the crackling is true, then I'll play this crackling sound. Okay, I'll play this crackling sound. Okay, and here at this below of this code, I'll just make this crackling. I'll just make my crackling as false. Right. I think I have this. All right, let's run my code. I have some error. Some rocket object has no attribute crackling. Okay, some attribute missing. I think. Okay, okay, okay. So let me go and add this crackling attribute to my rocket object. Okay, so self dot crackling. Self dot crackling. I'll say as true. All right, I'll run my code again. So it is running fine. One more error: rocket object has no attribute play play crackling. 
so another attribute is missing leak crackling i have created this i am trying to execute this method but i think i have not declared this method yet the play crackling all right it is on 130 line number 130 i'll go to line number 130 line number 130 so play crackling is here i think there is a typo miss okay there is a typo mister okay i'll run my code again now everything is fine everything is coming fine now the rocket is moving fireworks simulation is working fine okay it is moving really really good really really good thank you thank you very much